If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Friday, June 7th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. The United States is sending seven swimmers to compete in the open water events at the FINA World Championships next month, and Catherine Vogt will serve as the team's head coach. Vogt is also an assistant coach at the University of Southern California, and that's where she joins us now in the Finice Monitor. Catherine, it's good to see you. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Uh, good to have you. So uh, the uh, World Championship Trials Open Water were a few weeks ago, and um, we're still about five, four or five weeks away from World Championships. So is now kind of a quiet time for you in terms of your duties as head coach, or you still have a lot of things to do? Um, actually, we have uh, some conference calls coming up with the staff and the team coaches. Um, you know, USA Swimming has done a great job of being organized and um, Bryce Elser has done a good job of putting everything together for us. So, you know, we're just um, preparing, you know, all the coaches at home are preparing their athletes um, for Barcelona. So all the swimmers on the team are pretty much scattered throughout the country. You know, Alex Meyer is in Massachusetts, Becca Mann is in Florida, Christine Jennings in Colorado. Um, you got Haley Anderson there at USC. How often do you stay in touch with the swimmers and their coaches? Um, you know, the open water world is pretty small, so we're, all the coaches and the athletes are pretty close. Um, so that's one thing I, I really like about it. Um, you know, you just get an email from a coach every once in a while, and uh, um, so, you know, we just keep in touch with the athletes a little bit, and um, as it gets closer, for sure, we'll, we'll get more detailed about training plans and kind of what the home coaches want them to do, um, so... And when will the team get together as a whole unit and uh, start their official um, final preps for world championships? Um, I think we actually leave July 10th. Uh, we have a training camp for about a week, and then um, the first race is July 17th. Okay. So we'll be in Barcelona until the 28th, and then I think that's when the pool picks up. Right, and then you know you have people like Becca Mann who might be doing open water and pool events, so. Um, you know, that could be interesting as well. Sure, and I think um, actually Sean Ryan may be doing WUGS, and that's right before. So, you know, we'll, we'll accommodate and, and work with the coaches for, for what's best for all the athletes and, and their respective events. So, as I said, the, the World Championship Trials were a few weeks ago. What were your thoughts about uh, the competition there? Um, oh, I mean, I don't know. For anyone that was there, it was so exciting to watch the um, – Canyons put on a great race, and um, you know it was a couple days. Um, it was exciting to have the 10K first. Um, I think it shows the depth of, of our women. Um, we had about the top eight were really really tight, and it was just a fantastic race that came down to you know a sprint at the end. Um, and on, on the men's race, Alex Meyer was just amazing. You know his burst of speed at the end. Um, and and Andrew and uh, Sean both, you know, they they pushed Alex to make sure he was his best. So um, feel really confident in the team that we have going. And actually, this year we did the 5K selection. So the winner of the 5K gets to go swim the 5K um, in Barcelona, and that kind of added a unique twist to it as well. I think so. Um, you know, we took both winners of the 5K. So. And it, it just still kind of boggles me that the women and the men swim their 10K so differently. The, the women are very aggressive, stay in a, in a really tight pack of like almost 15 swimmers. Whereas with this one, the, it was just those three, Alex and, and Sean and Andrew, pretty much for the whole final half of this. I mean, what, did, what is it about the, the way they, they, they go about these races so differently? 
Um, actually, no, I think it's been the opposite the past couple of years. It, it's tend to be, it has tended to be a smaller pack of the women, um, maybe full, a little more strung out. And then the men's pack, the men tend to hang back and kind of all come together 15 or so and kind of battle it out. And then usually comes down to a sprint like the last 200. Um, so I thought this year was a little bit different. Um, but I'm mean it's thing to watch um you know even the kids that were you know 10th or 12th that everyone kind of had their own race going on um so you know hopefully everybody that was there um if, if it was their first race then they got a great first experience and if not then they showed some improvement from their last race the men's race uh one of the buoys kind of slipped away a little bit so that made it a little interesting yeah but, it definitely did seem to make it very interesting um <laughs> When you're training your open water swimmers at USC, because it, it, on the surface it looks like the men and women go about their strategy so differently, uh, do you train them differently or is it all pretty much the same because it's still you know, a 10K no matter what the, the gender is? I, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure that I would say it's just specific training wise. Um, I think men and women are going to approach training a little bit differently but as far as training for 10k you know our athletes are not training specifically in open water um i think Haley maybe did two open water workouts leading up to uh our trials um but again i feel like right now the fastest athletes are um competing at the highest level in a 10k and um you know if, if they can get the endurance and the speed work done in the pool then I'm good with that, and I think that racing open water is probably the element that's that's really important leading up to a race. Now, that's something that's that's been kind of the trend um, since ever since open water became really popular. You know, maybe f six, seven years ago, that everybody is really much just training in the pool. They're still focusing on pool events, but. For, for people like maybe Alex Meyer and Christine Jennings who are putting most of their focus on open water, uh, do you say that's still going to be the norm for people like them to still train in the pool and, and put all their yards in the pool and do very little open water training? I, I think it depends on the athlete and the individual. I mean, um, it, I think the athletes that I've worked with have been in a college system, so trying to balance racing, open water, uh, um, on the on the World Cup circuit is a real challenge, and so um, certainly for Christine and and Alex, that's you know a majority of their experience, and um, you know that's that's what's going to help them. And so I mean I'm really supportive of that too, as long as you make that work for your schedule and your training. Um, so I think there are a couple of World Cup races that I think are really great to do, and you know it's kind of whatever the athlete feels like they're going to get the most confidence doing whether it's the training in the pool and or maybe they won't want to train water um i just um kind of for the athletes i've worked with i feel like we you know dave and i really focus on, on the training in the pool right now and then getting the open water experience in a race right um, as head coach what are your thoughts about um the medal chances for the Americans in the Open Water World Championships? Um, really excited. We want to bring home as much uh, hardware as we can. Um, you know, Alex has won a medal in the 25K. We've got Andrew Gemmels, won medal in the 10K 2009. Um, Eva Fabian, I believe, has medaled in the 5K. So, um, and then, you know, Haley coming up off London. We've got some athletes that show some real potential competing at the highest level. Um, then, uh, you know, Becca w was just amazing at open water trials and showed she's, uh, you know, a force in the 10K and the 5K. So, yeah, it should be really exciting. Now, in 2011 in Shanghai at the World Championships, there were a lot of issues with the water temperatures. Everybody's complaining it's too hot. You know, Alex um, pulled out of the 25K because of water temperatures, and a lot of right. other swimmers did that as well. Do you foresee that being a problem in Barcelona? No, I, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, it's in the race is going to be in a, a protected home. Um, I think we expect the water temperature to be like low 70s. So. Uh, I, I don't think that's going to be an issue. 
that's actually quite comfortable for open water. Yeah. Swimming. <laughs> Usually, probably, uh, if they're thinking about swimming, some of these challenging events, they're thinking about it's going to be in the mid-60s. Yes. <laughs> well, um, it, what, what do you kind of foresee as uh, kind of the big challenge for you as a head coach to make sure that um, the United States brings home as much hardware as possible from this meet? You know, I think we've got a great support staff um, set and you know, just making sure we focus on all the little things at the training camp and building a um, great team camaraderie and uh, turns are going to be a big part of in Barcelona. So we're really going to focus a lot of energy on, you know, making sure our kids know what the course set up and um, knowing how to attack those turns. And um, so that's probably the most important thing. Okay. Well, like you said, you have a lot of experience on the teams. I'm sure that's definitely going to pay off. I hope so. <laughs> All right, Catherine, thanks so much for joining us today. Um, good luck with the swimmers in Barcelona. Thank you so much, Jeff. All right, so that was USA Open Water Swimming head coach Catherine Vogt joining us for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. The open water events at the World Championships, as she says, begin on July 19th, and Swimming World will bring you coverage of the events on swimmingworld.com. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching. Was that okay? <laughs>